uh, we are here to uh, study the automated surveying laboratory. Uh, we'll start with first experiment, that is measurement of horizontal angle and vertical angle by using one second theodolite. Uh, aim of the experiment, uh, as you can see, aim study and use of one second theodolite and also measurement of horizontal and vertical angle with the help of one second theodolite. Uh, what is horizontal measurement? Horizontal angle measurement, you can see the figure here. A and B are the two points where station point is considered as O. Here our uh, instrument is going to stand with the help of tripod. Here we are going to find the angle between A to B. That is your horizontal angle. We'll go with the vertical angle. What is the purpose of performing a vertical angle measurement? To find the any object height. Uh, for example, like uh, hill. Uh, example, specifically if you consider Mount Everest, it is increasing every year by some mm. Then how are you going to decide how much mm it is going to increase? By using an uh, experiment called vertical angle measurement. With the help of vertical angle, we can also find the any height object, but condition is our instrument should be on a flat ground, as well as base of the object should be visible, so that we can measure the base an instrument distance to calculate the actual height of the object. For example, if you consider a point, say this is our ground point, from here onwards there is an hill, example. Our uh, instrument is going to stand on this particular point, this particular point, say this is our point A, and the base of the hill, say this is point B. So here will be our one second theodolite and this will be the peak of the hill. Then we are going to take a eyesight. This is line of sight. This will making an angle say alpha 1 and this is called elevation angle. This elevation angle is the one part and the remaining ground from ground to till this distance is called depression angle. Why? Because from again this point your reading of the instrument will become a zero and then you need to look at the base of the object that is our hill and we'll get another angle say alpha 2. Sum of both the angles gives us a total angle. This total angle will be your vert, uh, depression as well as elevation angle. When you sum up, you will get a total angle of the uh, from the base till the peak of the hill. Then with the help of tan function, tan alpha is equals to opposite by adjacent. Here our opposite is this height. This height is not known to us. Then this is unknown term. Adjacent say A to B distance is measurable, that is say small d, this is known, alpha is known, unknown term is opposite. Then with substitution of these values, we'll get the actual height of the object. Uh, we'll be studying the one second theodolite. What is the major difference between one second theodolite and two second th uh, 20 second theodolite is? This accuracy is one second, and when you, you had studied in previous classes, about the 20 second third in previous semester. The accuracy of that instrument is 20 second error is allowed. Here, one second error is allowed. That means we are increasing our accuracy or as well as precision also. See, we'll go one by one the components of the one second third light. It is sim uh, resemblance is similar to uh, 20 second third light. There are but lot of modification and changes are there. We'll start with the bottom of the instrument. This is your base plate which is directly holding over the head of the tripod leg. We can separate it out. Uh, that is for per, uh, temporary or permanent adjustment. And then next, tripod leg, tripod screws. Uh, this is called uh, leveling screws. There are three leveling screws as that of the 20 second theodolite. Here, with the help of three uh, foot screws, first, telescope should be parallel to the both the foot screws. Then, uh, either inward or outward, simultaneously need to move to bring till the center of the bubble spirit level. There is a spirit level here. When it comes to a center, then our instrument is leveled at one end. Then telescope need to be 
uh, moved 90 degrees and it will be parallel to third screw third foot screw or perpendicular to the both the foot screw then again third screw should be rotated either inward or outward till it brings or uh, bubble spirit level brings to the center okay this is one thing this is the function of leveling foot screw the, above the leveling foot screw there is a tri back this particular section is tri back which is mainly holding over this entire instrument you can see there is a reflection mirror here which is used uh, in the daytime in the daytime for what purpose to see the station point how are you going to see the station point there is an optical plummet which optical plummet shows the instrument station point and marking purpose for uh, if you are operating this instrument in a night time then instead of this illumination glass we have a lights that light can be put here by putting that light here we can also take the readings during the night hours this is optical plummet uh, this is horizontal tangent screw which is a fine adjustment purpose and there is a clamp screw which clamps the horizontal movement see instrument is not moving now just like our 20 second third light this is your horizontal clamp screw for the horizontal movement and there is a spirit level uh, this is called freeze knob when you freeze this one reading will be get freezes this one is freeze knob and similarly this is your u frame for uh, some you call some people call it as a u frame some call it as a a frame if you re this can be removable that upper handle can be removable this is only uh, to handle the instrument now we'll uh, come to upper part uh, again there is another uh, illumination glass when you operate in a uh, day time that time sunlight will be reflected on this and we can easily read the readings in a eyepiece eyepiece is used to uh, fo focus the object beside eyepiece there is an reading piece that to read the angle readings are readed through this particular uh, reading knob this can be directly readed uh, there is again while reading this one we get confirmation then we need to use the freeze knob when you freeze this one reading will not fluctuate uh, irrespective of your telescope movement because we have freeze the reading then this is your triangular uh, bisection which is used to uh, rob, uh, roughly bisecting the object then there is an another vertical knob uh, this is your vertical knob one uh, now telescope is freeze once i loosen this one telescope movement is happening this is your vertical movement of the telescope knob uh, this is to clarification or uh, zooming the telescope this one a uh, larger knob is for the zooming and clarity zoom in and zoom out option this is fine touching of vertical angle just like our horizontal adjustment this is for vertical adjustment if you see this one this one having a one second accuracy so error, error error of as compared to 20 second error is very nominal then further this instrument is mainly used to perform horizontal angle as well as vertical angle inaccessible object experiments and distance measurement or fly leveling profile leveling this gives more accurate result than the any other instrument but while performing any experiment cautious caution need to be taken care magnetic thing should be away from this particular instrument because our spirit level will be much more fluctuated uh, in classroom we had seen that our component and functions of the uh, each instrument here we are going to start with the uh, already it is roughly level with the tripod and we'll bring to leveling process and after leveling we'll see further experimentation okay so we'll start with the leveling these are the three foot screws one two and three first we bring parallel to both the foot screw that is our altitude bubble tube and we try to bring a center i see here my both the fingers of both the hands are moving either inward parallelly now it is going away so i will move both at the same constant speed inward and slight movement it's it's center now so it is level one side that is parallel to both the foot screws we have brought the center so now turn 90 degrees parallel to third foot screw 
here now it is not the exact center. So, we will bring it center by third foot screw either inward movement or outward movement. Yes, it is center now. So, again I will rotate back and I will see to it whether it is exactly leveled or not. Yes, it is labeled here. Again, I will check another time to the third foot screw. Again, it is level. Okay, fine then. So, we did a leveling process and it is center, and our instrument point is exactly below of this. Uh, sir, arrow, please. Arrow. So, arrow, why you are using arrow to mark the station point of this particular point? Say this is your uh, instrument station point O and you can see that uh, red t shirt uh, fellow with a ranging rod that is a point A and that is point B at that side. So, with the center point we can mark the instrument center. How to see the center station point with the with this particular uh, component called sir please come here. left sir, left, slightly left, out thoda sa, yes. Here we are doing the center point of this particular instrument we called as a instrument station point. How we are marking with the arrow, this particular arrow shows the center point of the, this particular instrument. How to check it by uh, optical plumb mag, see exactly we are seeing the head of the tripod, I mean uh, head of the uh, this particular arrow. So, center is marked. Now, what we are doing is, uh, we will see the reading. This is as it is 1 second theodolite. First, we will see face left. How to see the face left? This particular circle, if you see this one, this is on the left side of your face, face left reading. We need to take both reading, face left as well as face right. So, we will first bisect the point A that is considered as a reference point for measuring the angle between two points. Here we erect the two ranging point to see the horizontal angle. So, we will start with this. Now, uh, we are uh, see, we are open this one with the reflection of this lines, we can read the readings or else it will be completely blank. So, we will see first we will bisect the point A, how to see this one? This is raw bisection through this particular uh, knob. I will first bisect the ranging rod, yeah it is bisected, yeah I will clamp it one second, yes it is clamped, vertical clamping is done, see telescope is not moving because I have clamped vertical movement, now I will have clamp horizontal or movement also, yes now bisection is done, now initial reading with reference to north direction is, readings are 252 degrees. Our readings are 252 degrees, 1 minute and 7 second, that is initial reading. You might be thinking why this particular reading is coming, because it, this reading is with reference to north meridian. Now, this will be considered as our initial reading. So, we will bisect the point B. So, turn the, uh, rotate the telescope till it reach the second point. So, it is uh, bisected now. So, I will do a horizontal clamping, horizontal clamp is done. Now, see, now telescope is not moving, instrument is static as well as telescope is, this is static as well as horizontal movement is static. Again, we have bisect the point B. So, angle moved from A to B in clockwise direction, face left reading. So, now A to B angle is 288 degree 2 minutes 7 seconds. So, this is our one first trial horizontal angle. So, we got the horizontal angle, okay, dear student, we just noted down the first set of a trial readings. Similarly, we need to conduct two more trials, so that more the number of observation, more the accuracy. So, we are going to conduct two more trials and read accordingly reading will be taken. Uh, we are again performing a uh, uh, face right uh, trials, just done with the face left readings with the three trials and three readings. Now, face right readings for better accuracy, how are you going to perform a face right? The simple thing, we need to rotate this one, 
once it is rotated it is coming to the right side of the our face then it will be face right so accordingly we are going to move the telescope like this see now telescope is done this is called transiting of the telescope now i will again check the leveling level is centered so we'll proceed with this now we'll first bisect the point a vertical clamping is done now we'll do the horizontal clamping i'm focusing it uh, initial reading is at point a is 72 degree 1 minute 6 seconds so this is our initial reading now we'll turn the telescope we unlock unlock unclamp the horizontal movement and we turn the telescope towards the point b and we are ranging it uh, it's ranged and we'll note down the a to b angle that is 108 degrees 2 minutes and 7 seconds this is first trial similarly we need to note down the two more trials and reading near to the observed values then that will be a mean of the three trials will be considered as a final reading face right face left and cumulative we will take a mean of both the left face left and face right the mean value is considered as your horizontal angle so thank you students we'll proceed next experiment that is vertical angle uh, for vertical angle we need to see the any elevated object maybe tree maybe buildings now we are performing the a vertical angle measurement uh, by using one second third light that is how that is why we point uh, we are going to measure the vertical angle of this particular tree while uh, the we are uh, standing one person to recognize the tree that is why the person is standing there and that tree height can be measured by vertical angle. So, how we going to measure all leveling is done everything is done now we need to record the two angles which two angles one is elevated angle another one is depression angle why depression angle if you see the instrument instrument is labeled but above the ground but we are going to take the line of sight and above will be considered as the elevation angle and below will be considered as a depression angle so we are considering two angles okay first we'll take a elevated angle where we going to consider it top of the tree now line of sight is bisecting the a person and now it is clamped i will unclamp it and we'll move 226 degree 3 minutes and 6 seconds this is our elevation angle now when i down the telescope it will cross the uh, bisect the line of uh, sight then it will be going to the base of the tree that base of the tree will be considered as a depression angle from the line of uh, line of sight now we will be going with the line of collimation yeah now readings are 225 degree 2 minutes and 6 seconds this is depression angle similarly we will be recording a two more trials total three set of a trials with the face left and a similar we are going to perform a face right readings and we need, need to note it down and face right uh, both together we find the mean of the values mean value will be considered as the vertical angle uh, that vertical angle with the help of tan rule we can find the height of this particular tree uh, we are here to uh, see the calculation part that is observation table of the horizontal angle a uh, first experiment so we'll go through that that is uh, this is our observation station for the horizontal angle uh, station point was o where we kept our instrument face left face right readings we have taken in a field points are a to b readings we are taken for horizontal angle a to b and respective readings are 252 degrees uh, 0 1 minute 0 7 second uh, till uh, 288 degrees 0 2 minutes 0 7 second like that respective reading for the face left as well as face rights are recorded these are the calculation part and tabulation and the difference angle is see here do not bother about the sign because we are going with the true meridian reading that is why it is showing the minus if you go with the minus this is not a minus from 
this particular value to this difference is 36 degree 1 minute 0 0 second. So, this like this for all the three set of reading for face left face right is calculated and accordingly difference is calculated and the mean of face left face right is this one and the final reading is 36 degree 0 minutes 59.5 second. It is the actual result of mean of face left and face right and this is your final reading. In reading you need to tabulate 36 degrees 0 minutes 59.5 seconds. This ends a uh, measurement of horizontal angle. This observation table is for vertical angle. Uh, here results are tabulated. It is similar to previous uh, table observation table just like your horizontal angle. There is slight modification. Whatever reading we have taken we need to subtract it from 180 degrees. As vertical panel is consists of 180 degrees but we got a 200 plus. So, we need to subtract it from 180 then remaining value is this one. Okay. Face left 46 degree 3 minutes 0 6 second. The in second variation is happening. First one is 6 second, second is 7 second and 6 second. Mean of this will be 46 degrees 3 minutes 6.33 seconds. Similarly, for face right 46 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds. It variation in again seconds only 6 seconds and 6 second. So, mean of face right will be 46 degree 4 minute 5.67 seconds. The mean of both face left and face right will be final 46 degree 3 minutes and 33 seconds. This is your final reading for vertical angle. We can tabulate this final value final mean as result for vertical angle is 46 degree 3 minutes and 36 seconds. You can tabulate this value as a resultant value.